Hey, what's up? Richard Rosamond here and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at how to use image channels in the new DOF Pro version 5.0 plugin for Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so one of the coolest new features of DOF Pro is the ability to use image channels for depth maps and aperture maps. Image channels are awesome because they can be stored in the same bit depth as your source image and you can store as many as you want. Additionally, they can be saved with your image when using certain file formats such as PSD. Using image channels in DOF Pro is really easy and we're going to take a look at how to do that. The first step is to download or create your depth maps and aperture textures. In our case, I've made two dummy depth maps and I've also downloaded and saved two aperture texture maps. While we don't have to match the DOF Pro image in resolution or bit depth, they will when we copy them into the image channels. To use image channels, we first need to copy the depth maps and aperture textures into the DOF Pro images channels. We're going to select one of our depth maps and then click on Select All. Then we copy it into the image buffer by clicking on Edit, Copy. Now let's paste it into our DOF Pro image. We do this by first making sure that we've selected the DOF Pro image and that we're on the background layer. Then we click on Channels, and on the top right hand corner of the Channels dialog, we'll select New Channel. A prompt will ask us to label the new channel. The label isn't so important for DOF Pro, but you can call it anything that will help keep yourself organized, such as Depth Map 1. This will make a new, empty channel. Now let's paste our image from the buffer into the new channel. We do this by clicking on Edit, Paste. We can see the image buffer has been pasted into the new channel. Let's repeat this with our second depth map and our other two aperture textures. Great, we've now set up our image channels. They are now embedded with the DOF Pro image and if we save this file in PSD format, it would also save these image channels along with it. Now let's use this within DOF Pro. In order for DOF Pro to see the new image channels, we need to select them. This is done by first ensuring that the image channels are visible and we do that by simply clicking on the visibility eye. Then we hold down shift, which means we are going to select multiple items and we click on the additional new image channels. You'll see that your image turns red. Don't be alarmed, as this is showing you that you've selected them. Now we're ready to use them within DOF Pro. Let's launch DOF Pro and go to the Depth Mode dropdown in the Depth Control Group. You can now see that DOF Pro has found our four new image channels. Now you can simply click on any of them to use them. The same goes for the Aperture Texture drop-down. It will display the four new image channels and you can simply click on any of them to use them. That's it! Setting up image channels is very easy and an extremely powerful new feature of DOF Pro version 5.0. Well that brings us to the end of our tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and I really encourage you to check out the DOF Pro product page where you'll find a ton of great info and images explaining in much more detail what causes these effects in the real world and how closely DOF Pro matches them. I also encourage you to test drive a free demo of DOF Pro version 5.0 which can be found on richardroseman.com. See you soon!